Good morning YouTube. I'm out on the bike and I'm just getting comfortable with the feel of the road. I love riding in the wet, believe it or not. Yes, it's a little bit more stressful. Yes, you got to really pay attention to how much you lean the bike. But it's actually quite minimal. Riding in the wet is fantastic because you have to be smoother with your throttle input. You can't be aggressive. You've got to just be relaxed. So anyways, I'm making missions through Gordon's Bay and it is pretty much the first winter rains that we are having. There's apparently some sort of weather phenomenon known as a black southeaster. I don't know why because it's not like the rain is black or anything but you know people come up with weird names for everything. We've got very little effect on this side like as you can see very little rain here but that's because most of it is being absorbed by that mountain range over there. In fact before that mountain range over there. So yeah, we're finally having some winter rain, some much needed rain. Uh, it's actually really nice to have some water on the road and it's like I think it's the second time I've ridden in the wet with this set of tires on. I'm only ever nervous of wet weather because I have new tires. I don't know how they, they put up with the, the tar. So, I'm just going to do a quick emergency stops here. Just so I can get the feel for what everything feels like. In case I need to make an emergency stop on my road, on my ride today. Ugh. Getting caught on my words. I believe it's very important practice to make sure you know what your grip limits are, especially if you haven't ridden in certain weather conditions for a while. You kind of forget that, hey, slippery roads increase braking distance because, you know, it's less grippy. Guys, isn't it a beautiful day to be alive? So the Ducati Multistrada V4S is finally being unveiled in South Africa this weekend and guess who's not going to go? Yeah, that's right. The world's worst YouTuber. I got too much chores to do. Adulting is hard, guys. It's freaking difficult. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a cute little pedal. That's a cute little pedal. <laughs> he says and then continues to pick his pants up. To beach or not to beach? That is the question. Whee! What is that like? traffic light in the sky? What? What? And how come I've never seen that before? Or paid attention to it? What? What is your purpose, bruh? That's interesting. That traffic signal is probably like that 
that radio frequency I, i'm trying to think what it's called i think it's called the big buzz or something like that where it's just this random tone that is generated over a radio frequency you can pick it up and some people believe that it's like a a heartbeat that's supposed to be playing in some russian secret military base or something like that the buzzer i think it's called the buzzer i think it's called the buzzer people This guy's like not having any of it. He's like, nope. No pity, no pity, nope. <laughs> okay, I can't shift. I can shift. Speed on for who? Being weird. <laughs> oh, man, if I had more time, I'd be playing Ingress now. What was that? So when I was a kid, we played this game called Nyao. And uh, the rules are simple and it's actually a freaking great tool. I wish more parents would play this with their kids in the car. Um, whenever you see an oncoming motorbike, you sit there and you watch it and you see the lights while you're on a road trip and you Nyao as he passes you. And it's great because it will teach your kids to be alert and aware of other motorcyclists, even from the age of three. I think that's how old I was. It's a beautiful day to be riding, guys. The f***? Ooh, tar snake. Taxis, cars, what the f***? Yeah, okay. Okay, but then move over. Okay, there's a big gap. Slow down to a calm panic. <laughs> oh, I was having a rough morning. I'm talking to you guys has just lifted my mood. What is the time? Oh, I'm gonna cut it fine. Yeah, you're still recording. You're still recording. You're all still recording! <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, if I was using my old camera now, it would have stopped recording already. I wouldn't even be having this conversation on camera. It would be so crappy. Oh man. I am so grateful to my family for empowering me with this GoPro 360 Max. It is literally 
the greatest investment that they could have made in me for this channel and that is amazing and once again thank you very much to everyone for your contributions towards this amazing camera that I'm having so much fun making videos with oh you don't understand Ugh. Indicator, drop a gear, disappear! Woo! Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yeah, guys. I love, I love it. I love it. Woohoo! I wonder if I can like induce camera shake or something with this GoPro software, like when I, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I want to ride fast, just be like, <laughs> just make the camera be all like, Alex are probably thinking I'm nuts. I am. I'm a YouTuber. I'm out of my shell though. Like this last video that I uploaded about my bike being on fire, which you can see over here. Um, <laughs> By the time you watch this though, it won't have been the last video because I will have already published the repair video or well, the preventative maintenance video that I should have done a shit long time ago. Uh, I will post that before this video so this video is going to be like quite outdated by the time you get it. Which is crappy. This is the problem I have right now as a content creator. I've got more content than I have time to publish the content. Please don't cut in front of me Mr. Tractor Bar. Please don't. I really don't feel like emergency braking in the wet today. Freaking taxis! Ah. on his indicator there. I'm like, no, do not do it. Do not do it. I'm here in my banana suit. Okay, so the reason for the hivers was mostly because I wanted it waterproof because I didn't know if it was still raining when I left the house and I figured the roads might be wet. So, you know, I could splash up a lot of water and I don't feel like all that admin. So instead, I'm going to wear the waterproof and if you're going to get waterproof clothing you might as well just get hivers because chances are you'll be riding in lower visibility conditions when you're wearing your waterproof gear. I am an ADAPT creature so those of you that don't know ADAPT is all of the gear all of the time and um, the rules I, I, I ride by uh, as much as possible at the moment I still need to get all of the gear for my fiance but we're building up slowly but surely Whee! okay let's go It is a beautiful morning out here. Oh wow. Check at those mountains. Check at the mist. It's so cool. I've never seen this part of Cape Town in weather like this and I'm just blown away because 
I don't know, it's just something about this nice weather. And I hate weather like this. But I'm in such a good mood that like whatever, it doesn't even matter. Who cares? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maximum lean. Why? Because it can. And also, leaning your body reduces the bike leaning angle. So the more you're leaning, the less your bike needs to. Yeah, this might be treacherous, slippery, it's wet. And you can see that when it rains here, it just brings all the sh** into the road. Oh, guys, thank you, internet, for joining me on this ride this morning. I really needed it. It put me in a freaking fantastic headspace, which is amazing. And yeah, guys, I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel, watching these videos. They may be long and rambly, and that's cool. I love the fact that you guys are out here being my therapy for the day. <laughs> so this is my long, my long visit with the therapist. So please, guys, if you want to continue being my therapist, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and. Uh, <laughs> Hit that notifications bell because it will give you alerts on whenever I upload some new content and I'm going to be bringing some really cool stuff, so check that out. And um, summer at the same time, summer. <laughs> I love being South African and I love using Afrikaans colloquially, so summer, give this video a thumbs up, check in the description my... Uh, Patreon links and buy me a coffee links are down below. So if you want to help me buy me a coffee, please go ahead. And um, yeah, why not check out Excrogitate? This bra is amazing. He is uh, being a huge support to me through this YouTube journey and he's really had my, my back while I've been trying to get this channel up and running. So please go spread some love to him. His links are in the description. He's a really passionate artist. And oh, you guys, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sitting with me and listening to my rambling. And you guys are amazing. It's, it's absolutely surreal to have this opportunity. Ah. You guys are awesome. Much love, guys. Until next time, ride safe.